Now what's going on guys, I'm going to show you uh, right side versus left side tie-off, but it's not specifically going to be tie-off, it could be applicable to any sort of a turn throw. It really talks about the position and the entry, and having that advantage first is really crucial. So let's just get right into it with a valve. Right, I'm going to be in an inside configuration against a right side, left side situation. Okay, so right side versus left side, and I have the inside configuration. Right, so from this position, for me to go tile, might be a little bit risky. She might step over it, she might counter it. Lots of different potential things can happen. And I have no natural advantage here. Right? And that's going to be a problem. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a strong pulse by bringing this hand up and then taking this elbow to create this frame inside between our body. Once I have a very strong pulse, I could grab and pull the shoulders and turn her body. Now I have an advantage. What happens a lot, let's look at the reverse, is if Laura creates a strong post, okay? You see how she's creating this pose by the wrist on the collarbone? Now, the position of my hand makes it very difficult for me to apply a lot of force, and when she pulls this hand towards the body, it's gonna be very difficult for me to win that hand back, okay? And not only she pulls, strong pulse, shoulder turn, for me to go tile is very difficult because there's gonna be a nice strong barrier preventing my shoulders from entering here and then bringing my body across the body, right? So, first thing I wanna do is create the strong post, shoulder turn, and now I can go into the tile, okay? Being in this position is key. So when I go Tatoshi here, once I have the shoulders turned, I wanna bring this leg back and bring my toe right around to the corner of her heel on the outside. Okay, I bring my toe to the heel, and I'm gonna slide my hips and bump this leg out of the way, and bring all of Lara's leg to this front leg, okay? Now I'm in a great position to turn my body, and then bring her all the way up the river, and throw her with a tie toshi. Nice one. Inside position, right? Open, strong frame. Sleeve, shoulder turn, okay? Back step, I bump the hip into this leg, and then I drive her weight forward to go for that Tayatoshi. Okay, I have the calf on shin, and notice right now she drops her knee into my leg, it's very vulnerable, so I have to be very careful here. And I have to have my hands driving my opponent forward in order to rotate most of the weight in front of me, okay? The more her weight is behind me, and the more the weight comes onto this leg, the riskier it's gonna be. Right? So, inside versus outside position, strong frame, strong pulse, shoulder turn, back, step, into the fat toshi. Okay, right side versus left side situation. Right? So, a lot of the times here, really important to fight for this. If I have a strong frame, right, that's her disadvantage. If she even brings this elbow over and grabs the sleeve, right, even if we're even on the sleeve and sleeve situation, it's gonna be very difficult for me to throw my body across here, right? With this elbow in the way, right? Don't let me get across. It's gonna be very difficult, right? So you wanna address that inside versus outside, create that strong pulse, and then go into the Tayatoshi, okay? Right side versus left side situation, okay? Right? And we'll do it from all angles. Inside versus outside position, sleeve, Strong pulse, shoulder turn, back step. I'm gonna bump my hip into her leg, go forward, and now I'm in Tatoshi position. Thank you. 